Before this video starts, I want to make it very clear to you guys, you could possibly get banned for doing this replica glitch. I've been seeing a lot of people on Twitter talking about how you could get banned for doing this glitch. So if you decide to do this, do it at your own discretion because I don't want to see anyone lose their 2k accounts. So keep that in mind. But yeah man, in this video, I'm going to be showing y'all boys how to do this demigod replica glitch what this is basically going to do is it's going to give you a replica name but you can basically make the build however you would like it gives you a really dope dope name such as the beard there's the ankle taker there's a few different ones you guys can look up the look up the replica replica build names on youtube and pick any nba player that you'd like but for this one i'm going to show you guys how to do the glitch james harden the beard name drop a like man drop a sub turn on post notifications and i'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video the very first thing that you guys want to do is of course you want to go ahead and make a brand new player and you can use a rebirth it's not really going to matter now this part is very important you want to make sure that the position is correct the the hand is correct and the jersey number is correct as well so once you find your replica on YouTube, just make sure you match the position, hand, and jersey number. That's very important. Next, you wanna make sure that you keep, you match the height as well. So the height has to be the same. You can change the weight to whatever you wanna be. And for the wingspan, there is a two difference in a wingspan that you can put. So you can either go 10 under or 10 over, but there's only a two leeway. But I just kept the wingspan at 6'10", which matches James Harden, and I went with the solid body type. Next, you just wanna make the build however you would like for this replica name. I didn't make the most meta 6'5 build. You can probably make it better. I just made a build for this video and I didn't try too hard. But like I said, you just wanna make the build however you would like. After you guys make the build however you would like, you wanna make sure that you take a screenshot of all of your attributes, just so you have a reference point for this glitch. You guys can choose any takeover that you would like, and then you can go ahead and complete the build. It will come out and give you a random name. After you guys have completed the build, you then wanna go back to the NBA 2K23 main menu. Now look man, once you guys give it to the 2K23 main menu, go over to options, go to features, and then you want to hit create roster. From here, you want to hit the very first option, and then you want to pick official 2K sports roster, and then you want to find the player that you're currently doing the repl replica glitch on. In this case, we're doing James Harden, so you want to hit A or X on James Harden, and then you want to go to his vitals. You want to make sure that the vitals match your build. So you wanna make sure that the position, the primary position is correct, which is shooting guard. And then you also wanna make sure that the jersey and hand are correct as well. Once you guys do that, you can also check the weight. So then you wanna go down to body. You wanna make sure the height is correct. If you adjusted the weight, you can change the weight to whatever you made your player to be. So in this case, this is why you make sure you take a screenshot of your player. We did change the weight for this replica glitch build, and you wanna make sure that you change the weight to exactly how you had it for your build. So in this case, we made it 175. N next, you wanna go down to your attributes. You wanna make sure that all of your attributes max match up to the player that you made. So once again, that's why it's very important that you take a screenshot of the build that you made for this glitch so you can use it as a reference point. So you wanna make sure you're driving layup matches. If you see like post fade or post hook, you don't have to worry about those. All, the only things that you have to worry about and change are the attributes that you see in the builder. So you wanna make sure that you change the driving layup of course you want to make sure that you change close shot mid-range three point and three pointer but of course you don't have to change like post fade or draw foul or anything like that only change the attributes that you see whenever you make your build now once you guys have changed all of your offensive attributes make sure all of these match up to what you see 
in the builder you then want to go ahead and scroll over to defense and you want to do the same same exact thing here make sure all of these attributes match up to the player that you made for this replica glitch and then you want to tab over once again so look man after you guys have done your defense you tab over and then you want to change everything under athleticism that you see whenever you make your player in the builder so it's gonna be like speed speed with the ball acceleration vertical strength stamina but stuff like hustle and other things that you don't see in the mod player builder you don't even have to worry about so just make sure everything matches up to the build that you made for this glitch now look man once you're done with that once you scroll over to durability you're done with this part of the glitch all this other stuff you don't even have to worry about so what you can do is before you hit back just make sure everything matches up then you can hit back make sure you hit keep changes and return and then once you guys get here hit back once again you want to go ahead and save the roster go ahead and hit new file and then make the name something that you can remember for mine i just made it rub glitch it's just easy and it stands out for whenever we're actually ready to do this glitch so make sure you save it and then you want to hit enter enter and then you can hit yes on everything that you see right here now once you guys get back to options and features you then want to go over to play now you then want to scroll over to blacktop you can choose any game mode it does not matter and then you want to hit in on the left trigger which will allow you to change the roster you want to go to user creator roster scroll over to my files and then load up that file that you made for this glitch in my case it says rep glitch and then put your controller on the left hand side and you want to go ahead and hit events once that happens you can make the game condition anything it doesn't matter once that happens go find the player that you're doing this repli replica glitch on you know the glitch is working properly if the overall on that player change you guys can see that i'm doing it on james harden it shows him as an 82 overall because he has no badges that's how we know that this glitch is working so once you guys have actually done this part you then want to go ahead back out to the NBA 2K23 main menu, go back over to my career, and then you want to go ahead and make a brand new player file once again. Scroll over, make a brand new player file like you're seeing right here, and then if you have your rebirth option, make sure you use it if you're actually going to make this player. Now, you want to make sure that once again, you make the position the same as a repl replica build, build. So for James Harden, of course, we're going to go with shooting guard. And then you want to make sure that you go with left hand and you want to also make sure that you select the correct jersey number and then you want to go ahead and hit continue. Once you hit continue, you want to make sure that you select the correct height, you want to make sure that you select the correct weight, you want to make sure that you do the correct wingspan and keep the body shape however you ha had it. Basically all we're doing is making the same exact build that we made at the beginning of the video for this replica glitch. Once you guys get here, just copy over the same exact stats that you did for the build that we made for this glitch. So you're going to see me make the same exact build once again. All right, so look, man, double check, triple check. Make sure all of your attributes match up. Once you guys are done with that, choose any takeover that you would like for this build. Go ahead and complete the build. If you did this glitch right and everything matches up, you guys will see that it will give you the replica name, even though you made a completely different build. You guys can see that I glitched this build to come out as the build when it was originally just a shot creator name. So yeah, man, this is how you do the re replica glitch. You guys can do this for any replica build that is out there. You just, you just gotta find them on YouTube and do the glitch. Like I said, but be careful, man. A lot of people are saying that they're getting banned for doing this glitch, so do it at your own discretion, man. Drop a like, drop us up, turn on post notifications, man. We out. Peace.